Hello guys, Javad is here and we are here with the exciting news and that is Enscape 3.2 with lots of feature and new uh, useful tools. First of all, I need to uh, say a special thanks to the Enscape team for sending me their license to review it for you. And in this video, we are going to review all of the tools and new tools that we have in the Enscape 3.2. Before uh, we would get uh, in the review, uh, you need, as you can see on the screen, I will put the link uh, to the Enscape blog. You can go there and you can uh, read in each of these uh, tools in details for more information. And also, uh, oh, that's it. Let's go to the tutorial. The first uh, ability and first tool and feature in this tutorial, in this a uh, new version is batch uh, rendering for, for panorama and also panorama tour. Uh, we had batch rendering for uh, still images, but when people were, uh, were trying to create some uh, bunch of uh, panoramas, they couldn't and they need to, to do it manually one by one. But right now you can create batch rendering pan for panoramas too. You just need to go to the batch rendering option in here. And then you need to select the views that you want to render. And then in here, we have an arrow in here. You can click on it and you can click on render mono panorama, panorama or a stereo panorama. It depends on your need. And you can create your panoramas as a batch of rendering sets. That's really helpful in bigger projects. And also there is another uh, feature that we have, which is a uh, Panorama tour. When you create panoramas, you can go to the uh, go to your profile and uh, license uh, manager profile in Enscape website, and you can create these kind of great panorama tours. And you don't need to use panorama galleries for present. You can use that too, but this is the new feature that you can use for your presentation, and I think it is much better in comparison with panorama galleries. I personally I would prefer this one over the. Uh, over the panorama gallery. That was the panorama part of this feature. The second one, uh, the second category of tools that are my favorite tools are dynamic placement and multiple dynamic placement or scattering tools in Enscape. To activate this tool, uh, you need to click on uh, asset uh, library in here, or you can use shortcut L for it, and then it will load the asset library for you and when it is loaded you can select each asset in the project you can see i can use any assets one by one very easily for example i can select this uh, sofa in here or these pillows or anything that i need for example this personnel i can uh, i can select it and then the thing that I love is that you can move it and you can scale it. In Revit, it doesn't stop rotating, but the other software, uh, other uh, group of software, you can rotate it uh, too. For example, let me activate the move tool. When you are in move tool and a skill tool, it will convert it, uh, it will show it as a simple uh, asset to make it easier. As you can see, I can move it in any place that I want very easily. And after, and if you want to, and also even I can scale it in any, let me, in any thing. For example, you can create a giant right now. <laughs> let me go a little bit bigger. That's great. If you want to save all of the changes that you have made, you, all, you need to go and click on apply changes in here. And you need to wait a little bit and you have the new asset with new, you have the existing asset with new placement. That's really easy. Even uh, uh, another tip is here that you can even place them, place them very easily. You just need to, for example, let me select some uh, bottles in here. You just need to click on them and you can place them very easily in here. And again, you can move them, you can do any modification that you want and even you can uh, press escape and then you can move them to any place that you want for example I want to move this one to here 
and then I need to click on apply change it will take a while and then you have all of the assets in place and that's awesome guys it is much better in comparison with placing them in Revit for example that you can see anything you just see a box but right here you can see all of the geometry and it is much better for asset placement and also you don't need to go back and forward to Enscape and Revit to see the results you can see all of the results in Enscape window and that's awesome let me let's wait now I have the asset because I am not using uh, offline asset it takes uh, a little bit time to download it too and then you have the assets as you can see we have the new assets in here very easily this is the dynamic uh, placement and another tool that I love is uh, scattering or multiple asset placement to do that you need again to go to the asset library and in here we have a tool which is called multiple asset placement but as a 3d artist you can name it a scattering tool in a way you need to click on it as you can see we have the new tools here we can scatter it by rectangular part uh, radial area and we can select the surfaces very easily but personally I love uh, use rectangular and circular uh, kind of sketch for example we want to create a uh, we want to let me go to, go to this again we want to create a group of people in here we click once and we click twice to specify our area and then let's go to the categories and from here let's select uh, some people when you select them they will be uh, inserted in here and then you can use them very easily for example let me select this one as you can see it is in here let me select four and that's great and then you can change the density to much higher numbers for example something like this and even you can change the distribution to jitter and uniform for example when you put uniform they are in some forms and when you to put to in jitter they are really messy they are and it is good to use jitter for crowds uh, parts then you need to uh, click on confer placement and then you need to click on apply chains and then you are good to go on and you can also use other tools but this video is introduction introductory video so we will discover all of these tools in future videos so don't forget to subscribe us and like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues as you can see we have all of the assets that we chose in here but for example you can see the density is high for this and we have repetitive people you need to choose more assets to prevent from this uh, thing okay the next one is not kind of a really visual you can uh, watch it in visual things too but in uh, in early and uh, in uh, Enscape 3.1 Enscape 3.1 we had the uh, Arctic shadows and ray trace shadows in Enscape but if you would if you would want to see them in action you needed to create a render for example from here and you could see the better shadows in renders but in this version uh enscape has uh, inserted those uh, kind of effects in real time and in walkthroughs too so that will give you better uh, shadows and also another new and another good news for amd users is that uh, enscape has has uh, now support uh, supports uh, vulcan ray trace uh, ray tracing technology and it will be very helpful for amd graphic users the next one and the next and good news is if you are a windows geek and you have installed windows 11 already now enscape uh, 3.2 will support windows 11 very uh, greatly and it will work very well and you can use it on windows 11 too very easily and other parts other parts that i need to tell you is uh, there are lots of uh, great assets more than 150 assets and more than 50 materials for your 
screen building. For example, when you go to the asset part, let me bring it from here. Let's go to the asset library. We will have great uh, assets for green buildings. For example, we have turbines, we have uh, some uh, solar, uh, great solar panels and great things for uh, green buildings. Let me Let's click on new and see the uh, new assets that we have. Let's go and we can, you can see we have some solar panels. We have new people and we have lots of great assets. And I have a surprise for you in future videos about Enscape assets. We are doing a great job in back uh, stage and we will show you the results in a, uh, in a month or two months. So don't forget to uh, subscribe us. Okay. That's great. As you can see, this is the new assets that we have. And that's all of the features that we have in this version. We have some other minor uh, uh, features. You can go to the blog that I will put the link in the description and can uh, go there and watch the, uh, you can go there and read the whole blog about the new features of Enscape. And I have some suggestions uh, for uh, Enscape team. The first one is we do can't let's go to the Enscape part uh, We can't use a scatter and multiple asset placement in Vertical faces for example, this is a whole this is a family that we uh, we can't but we can't scatter Vegetation on walls. Maybe it is a problem right now for me But as I tested we can't use that so it will be great if we could place our assets uh, and uh, use our dynamic and uh, play dynamic placement assets and multiple place asset assets uh, placement assets in a vertical faces too it will uh, give us more freedom to create better visualization okay that was it if it was helpful for you please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues and if you are new uh, in this channel please don't forget to check our Enscape uh, tips playlist in here we have thousands of Enscape tips for you you can go there and check it too I will see you on the next session